Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad right here from Radku Tarot and this is going to be Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and Virgo Rising weekly tarot reading July 16th to July 22nd 2018. Four cards spread for Virgo and the first card that shows up the topic for the week for Virgo that is going to be uh, the Hermit. <clears throat> Then we do have the uh, core of the situation, uh, that will be the Tree of Wands. Afterwards uh, is the challenges that Virgo needs to overcome. This is going to be the judgment. And at the end we do have the guidance for Virgo which is the Five of Pentacles. So, <clears throat> what do we have here? Now first we do have the Hermit as a topic and next to the Tree of Wands which is the core of the situation. These two cards alone speak that that week uh, Virgo will be able to start doing something they have planned for quite a while now. That could be the vacation with your family, it could be the project at work, etc, etc. The bottom line is that now the circumstances will be very um, favorable for you to initiate whatever you have planned in the recent past. However, that needs to happen with quite of an intelligent approach here, which is uh, pointed by the Hermit card. And under intelligent approach, I mean a, a pro approach without confrontation and without being, uh, being aggressive and bruising upon others, and not just upon others, but upon situations as well. Saying that, because with the Hermit card, it is very... Um, <clears throat> Kind of like uh, uh, one of the properties of the of the hermit card is that guys, not everybody will be pleased of what you are about to do or what direction you are about to take. Nonetheless, uh, you gotta take it, all right, because it is something very substantial for you. And in the same time, it is it is something that actually um, benefits you in many ways. And as you take on that particular direction, there will be people which are gonna be left with a finger in. The their mouth or in other words they will no longer they will no longer be able to take advantage of uh, of your current situation three of wands as a core as I said, points to that the circumstances are very favorable. As a matter of fact, having these couple of cards there, one to, uh, next to each other, uh, I don't think that you will have more favorable circumstances uh, <clears throat> in, in the near future regarding that particular matter. So what you need to do here is rely on the already existing patterns, or in other words, to your plan, and lift the bar of your expectations or place further challenges in front of yourself in order to be able to... Uh, push forward into that direction you want to go. Then we do have the Judgment card as Challenge. And this card as Challenge speaks for um, the imperfection. Imperfection uh, in a way that um, you may face certain predicaments as soon as you start initiating whatever you have planned, uh, a predicaments that you haven't planned, all right? <clears throat> And the challenge will be to actually be able to, you know, take um, take on those kind of difficulties and sort them out. Although they will not be that big, guys. They will be just the usual and ordinary, um, let's say, setbacks and difficulties that every single project, relationship or whatever is facing in life. I mean, because there is always balance. Uh, when we do something, we always face some kind of uh, some kind of difficulties. For example, just to give you an example with myself, whenever I buy myself some sort of technology, either this is going to be a new computer or a new uh, playing console or even a new car, there is something wrong at the start and the thing never runs from the first try. This is always something additional that I need to do uh, to, to make it running. And so, uh, and so these kind of stuff, it is what you may face. And this is why we do have the Five of Pentacles here as a, a guidance card pointing that no matter how um, down in spirit we may find ourselves as soon as we realize that our plan is not as perfect as it can be or as it should have been, all right? Or in other words, um, our uh, we may kind of engage um, despondency here for a brief moment, that should not be a prerequisite for us to just leave that kind of uh, our plans into garbage and not to execute them. It is because, as I said, everything always has a downside. But luckily for you, Virgos, 
Judgment is just a challenge, all right? And as a challenge, it can be overcome. That being said, whenever you face, you know, the both sides, guys, you just need to roll up your sleeve and do what is necessary in order to resolve those uh, those petite predicaments and uh, be able to take advantage of what is the positivity out of whatever you have planned recently. So that being said, this was your weekly tarot reading Virgo. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.